I would like to share what you can expect and the do's and don'ts after vitrectomy surgery. Immediately after surgery, your eye will be covered with, with a gauze pad and a plastic shield. Your eye will be comfortable and numbed from the local anesthesia. This ghost path can be removed the next morning. Do expect to see some blood-stained tears on the ghost pad. This is absolutely normal. The clear plastic shield should be worn for one week at night only to prevent any accidental knocks to your eye. Your eye will feel a little bit dry and gritty for a few days, but will not be painful. It will be red for a couple of weeks. You will be prescribed some eye drops for several weeks to help your eyes settle after surgery. One of the drops will be an antibiotic, generally chloramphenicol. You will need to use this one four times a day for one week. You will also be given an anti-inflammatory eye drop. You will need to use this one four times a day for four weeks. Also, we'll give you some lubricants. These will keep your eye hydrated and you need to use them every time your eye feels tired or gritty. You will need to start your eye drops the next day. To instill your eye drops, thoroughly wash your hands first. Stand in front of a mirror and lightly pull down the lower skin of your bottom eyelid to form a pocket. Be careful not to touch the eye itself and squeeze the drop bottle to place one drop into this pocket. Remember to leave at least two minutes between different eye drops. If you need to clean your eye, you can do this one day after surgery by using clean water that is first boiled and then cooled down. You can gently wipe your eyelashes using a cotton pad or a very soft tissue dipped in this water. When cleaning your eye, remember to do it from the inner to the outer part of the eyelid and discard the pad that you're using. Get a new one, dip it in the water and repeat. In terms of the do's, do use your eye drops as prescribed. Wear your plastic eye shield for seven nights. Do keep your eyes closed when having a shower for the first week. Do wear sunglasses outdoors for one week and avoid any dusty atmospheres. You can resume light exercise five days after your surgery and full exercise two weeks after. If your surgeon placed an air or gas bubble during your vitrectomy surgery, he may ask you to posture for a few days to a week. For example, this could be leaning forward to achieve a face-down position for three days after macular hole surgery, or lying on one side during the day or night. With posturing, typically you can rest and be free of any posture for 10 minutes out of every hour. Your surgeon will confirm the exact posturing requirements, if any. In terms of the don'ts, do not rub or put pressure on your eye for two weeks after surgery. Do not squeeze your eyes for two days after surgery. Do not drive until your vision has cleared or you feel comfortable to do so. Do not wear any makeup for one week. Do not directly wet your eyes for one week. Do not shower on the day of treatment. Do not swim for four weeks. It is important not to fly if you have an air or gas bubble in the eye. You need to wait until the bubble is completely reabsorbed by the body and disappears be before you can fly, which can take one to 10 weeks, depending on the type of bubble. So please do check with your surgeon before making any travel arrangements. In summary, most patients find there is very minimal discomfort after vitrectomy surgery.